uh, choosing the perfect picnic location to for food and essentials and that sort of thing is is so so important. We're going to talk to Susan Barrett right now, who is Toronto's first and I believe only stylist when it comes to <laughs> picnicking properly. So Susan, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. We're so excited to have you here, and this spread looks amazing. This is not like the picnic that I was used to: old blanket and old basket, and here's some sandwiches <laughs> wrapped in tin foil. Um, let's talk about how you do a picnic right. So let's start with your charcuterie board here. That's right. So um, a couple of things to remember when doing a charcuterie board is that you want to make sure that you include a couple of great cheeses. Mm -hmm. So depending on your theme, this is actually a Parisian theme. Um, it's called From Paris With Love. And you want to remember that you want to stay true to your theme. So we have a very classic um, Parisian style charcuterie board. Mm -hmm. So we have things like your saison sec, um, your duck relié, um, and then we have all these here wonderful um, cheeses as right. well. Um, so you want to make sure that you have a good amount of cheeses, you have some nice meats, of course your baguette, um, some sweets, maybe a little bit of, you know, Kozak mustard, yes. yeah. um, pickled vegetables, that's a really, really nice um, cheese board. So let's, let's come on down and sit here for a second mm. because you've got the full spread and we're going to talk a little bit more about, it's not just about the food obviously, it's about picking a location, preferably not to where they're doing streetcar repairs. Correct. Um, so if you, you know, <laughs> if you have a jackhammer nearby, maybe not the best, but, but when we're yeah. talking in Toronto, what are some great parks and, and the characteristics of those parks that we should, we should probably check out? So it's, it's really important to um, know your parks and know them well and just sort of know the personality of that park. Um, so in Toronto, we have some really wonderful parks. There's parks like Trinity Bellwoods, for example, and that's a really great artsy type of park. It's very lively in the summer. Drum circles and yeah, everything. Exactly, exactly. So that's a park that you go to if you're, you know, looking to hang out, meet new people. Um, but it's wonderful for that. And then, I mean, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more quiet or maybe more romantic and scenic, then um, you might want to check out the Island um, Ward Park, mm -hmm. for example. Um, that's really lovely in the summer. It's got, you know, beautiful um, views of the lake. Um, and it's generally a little bit more quiet. You can watch the, the sunset as well. Um, and then there's a lovely park, um, Coronation Park, which is right at the foot of Lake Shore and Bathurst, which is awesome because it's got a lot of great trees for canopy so it's nice and cool in the summer so if you're having like a midday picnic for example or like maybe a proposal or a proposal which you have done yes yeah, so proposals are awesome I love doing proposals um, I can basically customize um, themes for for anyone and for everyone um, and, and you can help guys really like great. me who have who have like we have an idea but we have no idea how to pull it all together so you can do that that's right that's amazing okay quickly before we have to go here yeah. when we're talking about moving things like hummus uh, yeah. or, or some sort of salad dressing oils that sort of thing yeah. how do we make sure that they don't end up all over the bottom of our bag so you can do a couple of things so um, I do a lot of pre prepping before I arrive um, and it's all about basically making sure that you wrap your things properly so a board like this for example I will create all of the items and then I will cater wrap them mm -hmm. um, so that they don't move around. I will wrap the, um, for example, the shrimp here separately. These I'll bring in containers and then take them out. But it's really important to select also a park that is accessible um, by car or mm -hmm. by taxi. So the ease of transporting these things is a little bit better um, right. for you. Um, but it's really all about how you are transporting the items and lots of containers and little things like that so that you can actually do your picnic setup once you arrive. All right, Susan Barrett, thank you so much for coming in today. No problem. For, uh, more information on this, please go to breakfasttelevision.ca. We're going to eat some food now.